boy, I sure do love my new Steam Deck. But the fan on it's kind of loud. Does that mean it's overheating? I should get one of those external fan accessories to help cool it. I'll probably even get more performance out of it. Right? Everyone knows that heat is the detriment to performance when it comes to gaming PCs and consoles, which is especially true in thin and light devices or handhelds. Valve could let the Steam Deck get super hot to push the performance even farther, but then you have an atomic fireball in your hands and that one fan would be very loud. Computers and consoles traditionally cool their components using heat sinks and fans. The heat from the chip is dissipated into the heat sink and then the fan blows it all away. But here's the problem. Where would that fit on the Steam Deck? Linus Tech Tips did do a mod on a Steam Deck where they cut out the back and put a huge heatsink directly on the chip that allowed that heat to be dissipated outside of the device with a pretty large level of success. But that modification is not practical to most people, considering it pretty much makes the Steam Deck not portable anymore and really prone to breaking. So what are we normies supposed to do? Well, luckily, some developers have created this external cooling fan for your Steam Deck for just $20. Wow, what a bargain. Considering there are dozens of companies selling the same item with their weird company name on it, I can assume this item is an OEM that just sends the product out for people to sell. I checked Alibaba, which is where a lot of companies source their OEM products from, and sure enough, I found the exact product on there by many different sellers, actually. It's hard to know who was the first one, but it's pretty funny that these companies are buying it from the original seller and then trying to supply it to other people who are then trying to resell it again. It's also possible that some of these developers bought or stole the blueprints from the original manufacturer to create this item. So who knows? Just know that this item is not original and is simply an OEM product no matter who you buy it from. One of these sellers is called JYS and they even made a little YouTube video claiming what this product can do. Let's watch. The video makes a lot of claims like how it'll prolong the life of your device and give you better performance, but I'm just so, so skeptical. There's no heat sink on the back of this thing that connects directly to the Steam Deck. The exhaust fan is at the top, so naturally air inside the machine is going to be exiting up. These two fans are just pointing at the back plate and hoping to draw heat away from it without any kind of contact. A good comparison would be if you wanted to cool the CPU on your gaming PC, you just took a fan and pointed it at the back of the case where the CPU is inside. I don't know. I'm going into this super skeptical, but I would absolutely love to be proven wrong that this thing does anything. The packaging on the item is fine. It comes with a short USB-C to C cable and a splitter so you can use the fan and charge your Steam Deck at the same time. This was something I wasn't expecting, so kudos to them for including it. Only one problem, that USB-C splitter does not support docking. So if you want to use the fan while your deck is plugged into an external monitor, you're going to have to run a separate cable to your dock that powers the fan and ditch the splitter entirely but at least it does work in handheld mode. I do like that they included a kickstand at the very least, as it provides more functionality to this other than just cooling. If you use a USB hub like me that doesn't come with a stand, you can just use the kickstand to keep the Steam Deck upright while playing. The fans are kind of loud, but nothing too crazy. I'd say it's about in line with the Steam Deck fan when it's going full blast, except these are going full blast all the time, no matter what. So even if you're just playing an NES game or idling, you have to hear that loud fan noise until you turn it off. It has three levels of fan speed, but there's no variable control depending on what is playing on the Steam Deck, obviously. They also come with some obnoxious blue LEDs that you cannot even turn off. Imagine you're playing the Steam Deck in bed or, or on an airplane. Not only are the fans very noticeable, you have this bright blue LED blasting the room for no reason. I really would have loved a way to turn them off. All right, so we've gone over what it claims to be, but the only way to know is if it actually matters is to test it. This is my 100% scientific testing station here, and I'm going to be using Steam Deck's internal performance overlay to test the temperatures and the FPS on a few different game benchmarks. Let's try a few games without the fans on, and then again using the same settings but with the fan blowing. We can't really prove their claim about prolonging the life of the device, but I'm at least hoping to find a difference in temperature or FPS. First up, I wanted to run Hitman 3's in-game benchmark, which is way more intense than anything that actually happens in the games usually, so it will be a good way to stress test the device. I tested the benchmark without the external fan, waited 10 minutes, and then ran it again with the external fan on full blast to give it the best chance. As you can see, the FPS and average temperatures are pretty much within a margin of error on both sides, with no increase in performance. Forspoken is a new game that came out in 2023, and it actually plays really terribly on the Steam Deck. So running its in-game benchmark will really push the Steam Deck to its limits, but again, 
After doing the standard fan off and on test, we are not seeing any kind of difference, either in temperature or performance. Last tested was Elden Ring, which doesn't have an in-game benchmarking tool, so I just tried to grab as many enemies as I could on screen and beat them down. This one is a little bit harder to match up, but after scrubbing through the data, there's again no meaningful difference between playing the Steam Deck normally or strapping the external fan to the back on full blast. So after trying out those three games, I could not find any discernible difference in performance or, or even temperature. I thought for sure we would at least have like a one to two degree difference in either the CPU or GPU outside of margin of error, but I could not find anything. At best, this $20 accessory has a kickstand, blue LEDs if you're into that, and emits a fan noise. And honestly, having two extra fans and LEDs plugged into your Steam Deck while portable is just going to drain your battery much faster and would deplete any kind of non-existing performance increase anyway. The battery in the Steam Deck is already pretty limited. Why would you want to hurt it even more with, for, for snake oil? If you are worried about the heat of your device, let me put you to rest. The Steam Deck was designed in a way where it knows its limitations. Valve found the perfect level where performance is not impacted too much, the battery is pretty good, and the device isn't red hot in your hands when playing. If you're using your Steam Deck and it's literally too hot to even hold, or if it's overheating and shutting down, you might have a defective device and I'd recommend contacting Valve about it. Because no matter what you strap to the outside of your Steam Deck, you won't be able to solve that problem. My name is Jason, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button below, it, it really helps me out a ton. And I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you could help me out by hitting the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.